quick question. Oh, well, this is a lead into a follow up. Um, if hypothetically somebody were to teach a guy to make nail bombs and that guy were to go out and use that to kill a bunch of people, is the person who taught them somewhat responsible for that action? No. Why not? Well, this goes back to the same idea that a lot of liberals have of gun ownership, right? Like you allow people to buy guns. They say that right there is bad. Hold, hold the gun manufacturers accountable. Hold the gun stores accountable because people commit mass shootings. Um, so, yeah, just because you teach somebody a skill set, kind of like my point earlier, the Marine Corps teaches us to kill, but the Marine Corps is not responsible for Marines in history who have committed mass shootings. Okay, so obviously, um, well, the Marine Corps is partially responsible for that, I would say, because they certainly gave them the skill set by which to commit those actions. And, and as a follow-up question, do you, in your program, teach men that they ought be virtuous? And if so, what framework do you, uh, by what framework do you decide what virtue is? Uh, so I disagree with uh, the first point uh, that you made there. So let's agree to disagree on that one. Um, let's see, second one. So, sorry. Well, the Marine Corps doesn't teach Marines to go. Adam, to you got to make it quick. So, yeah, so if, you have, a, if you have a second, second question, point. you got to ask it okay. fast, man. Reiterate okay. your second question again, please. What, what stand, do you teach virtue in your course? And if so, what's your standard for virtue? Uh, so I guess in a sense, I am teaching virtue. Uh, do I have a foundation such as like, you know, a church or some type of gospel that I'm teaching this virtue based off of? No. Um, you know, I've been around, I, I've been around the world twice. I've lived a lot of life at my young age. So I'm kind of learning as I go. And what I have learned is basically what I'm trying to teach people. Okay. What Maybe virtue my do you teach then? We didn't hear the last Sorry, word, uh, James. What? You cut out the what? last word. You know. Oh, I cut out. Yeah, you're cutting out a little bit more too now. Yeah, go go ahead, Adam. Last the the question. Make it quick. What virtues? Uh, so I, for example, uh, showing women respect, um, being an incredible, well-rounded man. That's a couple examples of you know some virtues. You consider those right to be. What do you sure. consider virtues to be? Yeah, that's why I asked for the standard. Yeah, what do you consider virtues, virtues to be? Clearly. Sorry, you're cutting out. What was that? What do you consider virtues to be? Um, in, in, in what sense? In the sense of what you consider them to be. Like as far as what I'm teaching? As far as what you consider virtues to be. Because you um, said you teach, uh, you're teaching men and women virtue. Okay, what are virtues from your worldview? What oh, what are they? Like, are, are you saying uh, based on like a foundation of what what I? No, I just want to know what you consider virtues. Like chastity, for instance, would be a virtue. Mm -hmm. Temperance, that would be a virtue. What do you consider virtues to be? Mm. You know what? Let, let, give me a minute to think upon that one. And I'll give you a better answer. So you're teaching virtues, but you can't think of any that you can give us? Well, uh, I'm having a hard time understanding like the context of what you're saying. It may, may, Maybe I'm just uh, overthinking it, but okay, I, I don't want I can, to. I can, I, can, I can make the argument more clear. Um, first of all, the Marine Corps analogy doesn't work because members of the Marine Corps are not told to randomly go murder people. That's not a part of the training. They're not trained to do that. In fact, if they were to do that, they would be going against their training. So really what you're saying is if somebody uses their training to go against their training, then they're doing something bad. Well, <laughs> but yeah, that doesn't really make sense. Um, Andrew, can I, I help this poor man quickly? Quickly. James, a virtue is a positive characteristic, the ensemble of which produces a good person. That's what a virtue is. So he's asking you, do you have a particular set of those that culminates in a good person? What are they? Oh, okay. Okay. So like, uh, 
I, I was overthinking that one. <laughs> um, yeah. So uh, I, again, like I said, uh, you know, earlier on in the interview, um, being able to, you know, be able to establish some type of moral foundation for yourself as a man. I think uh, being physically strong is important. Uh, going out there and experiencing the world is going to be important. And if you could be a man who is, you know, good with women in general, then it's going to have a lot of positives for you in your so what, life because you're going So to what's the moral foundation? Uh, again, I don't conform to any particular religion. Uh, I do believe in a higher power. I do believe in a God. Um, but I have uh, kind of established my own foundation based on my life experience. So the the moral foundation that you follow is do as thou wilt or no so you don't want to harm others right okay well then uh, that would want... be a foundation right so there'd be some yeah, so principle there'd be some principle which would be underneath it that's what a foundation is right so what is the thing underneath because you said it's very important for men to establish a moral foundation so what would that be in james devin johnson's worldview what is that foundation that you're appealing to? To do right by others, to be strong, to be, you know, overall like a well-rounded, just capable individual. You know, there's many different components that go into it. And I could take, you know, religious examples and throw them in there too. Um, but, you know, essentially do, do right by yourself, do right by others. Okay. Okay. Um, so... The I, Adam, I, Adam, I can't, man. I can't. I'm sorry. Just, just I gave you as much. Make it very, very quick, bro. My my criticism is you have no moral basis for your teachings. P you allow people to use them for whatever you want. You don't treat. You don't tell them to use it morally. Therefore, you're effectively doing the same thing as the guy who trains somebody to do a nail bomb without telling him this is how you use it. This is how you don't use it. That's all. All right.